Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terror Tech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now you can see, I did get a viewer request, uh, actually several of them, to make a Venture Bot. And so I went ahead and made this guy rather quickly. He's not all that. He does have three uh, Venture Fire rifles on the front of his bot. And his cab is right here underneath this one right here. You can kind of see it. I protect it a little bit. This first rifle will probably get destroyed rather quickly. I don't have the ability to have batteries yet. I haven't found those. Uh, so I can't really build a bot with a shield bubble and a repair bubble, which is really what you kind of need for this. But we're going to run off and see if we can find some new pieces. In the meantime, I did put my bot on some extra blocks. In fact, I can kind of zoom in and we can go over there and, and check them out. <laughs> <laughs> you move so quick with this thing. Oh my god. So I this is the only way I could get him to stay still. I know people have said they had the idle ability and stuff like that. And I put him on idle and he was fine for a little while. And then he decided to start walking around, roaming around on his own. And that's too dangerous to let him do that. Uh, because this is just too much work invested into this. And the reason I'm also doing the Venture one is because when you have a big bot like this, you do get some lag. And when you have a small bot, you don't. And so as soon as I get away from this guy, the lag's going to disappear. And I do have a little tower over here to kind of protect the front of him, just in case he decides not to attack um, when it's time for him to actually do so. So let me see if I can turn this. And we're going to head off in some random direction and see if... Holy crap, this is amazingly fast. Oh, man, I love it. Okay, so we got a guy over here. I don't know if we're going to win this one, but we're going to try it. Oh, no. Come on, die. I probably shouldn't be going, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy. Oh, he already destroyed one of my weapons. Dang, that was fast. Well, at least he gave me one of his. One of his is on the ground. And that's why I love this type of weapon. Like, it will literally go around 360 degrees as long as there's nothing in its path. Oh, come on. You got the speed on your side, and you can't aim worth jack. Oh, I'd kill this guy already. No! Oh, I can't believe we're having so much trouble with just a little simple guy like this. That may uh, that may pose some risk for us later on when we actually start finding some some uh, stronger guys. So we got a weapon here that's uh, pretty nice. We do got another one over here. We can throw that on there. So we got two weapons out of that. Not really a bad haul for only losing one. Now, those Venture Fire rifles, I believe, in my opinion, are far, far better than, uh, than these other weapons that we got in the replacement, but still not too shabby. And I do need a radar unit to be able to find some stuff, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of head out here into the desert and uh, see what kind of hijinks we can get into, see if we find some really cool blocks. There we go. Oh, man. I love it how we can spin, but I wish there was a lock-on ability to fight these guys because it can be pretty hectic to keep up with them sometimes. Come on. No. Kill him already. Oh my god, it has such a huge arch on this weapon. And it has a hard time keeping up. You know what? We're going to grab this one real quick. Put it right here on the back. No. I don't know where that is right now, but it's on our bot. I think it's underneath. Yeah, it's on this side. Come on, kill him already. He has no weapons left. All he has is his bot. Gotta watch out, too, when he explodes. Let's pick that. Oh, man, I was going to pick all that stuff up before he exploded, but he didn't get to it in time. Okay, so we're going to go back a little further. We don't want to go back too far. In fact, that might be fine. We might go up instead. And we'll put these weapons, or not these weapons, these wheels on the side. And I will move this weapon. And we'll put it up here on the top. There we go. Wow, I think that's actually starting to come together. If only I had some shield generators uh, or some repair bubbles, I think this guy would be... A force to be reckoned with and I could go out here for a long long time oh check it out they're both fighting each other oh that's cool let's see who wins this one I want to see <laughs> they're probably gonna come over here and attack me before the fights over but I want to see how well they do against each other they seem like they're doing pretty good in fact uh, while I'm here I'll go ahead and take a snapshot of my picture that way uh, any of you guys or a snapshot of my bot that way any of you guys who want to fight this guy uh, can do so as well Let's see. Nah, they're, they're really not doing that much damage. Let's see if I can get involved and maybe uh, help one of them out. Oh, there we go. Nice. Die already. You can't be that well off after a fight like that. Come on. Ooh. Is he dead? 
Oh no, he just ran. Oh crap! I have a couple of things exploding on my bot. Oh no, I lost two weapons. Let's see, are there any more over here? Yes. There's another uh, Venture Fire Rifle. Okay, we'll definitely take that. Uh, we got some more blocks. I guess we'll take these as well. We'll go back a little further because we kind of want that. Daylight is coming up, which means I can head back to my bot and repair up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll keep uh, coming back a little higher each time. Let's see. Here we go. Wow, there's another guy way over there too. I think that was a pretty good haul for, for just uh, a short little stint out here into the, the wilderness, the, the desert region. And let's see. Oh, well, we're, we're going to pick up that light just because. Beep, beep. Here we go. Come on, let me get it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's pretty nice. I wish you could put, like, brake lights so when you actually stopped it would turn. Oh, we can hurt ourselves doing that. you got to watch out. It will cause damage when you run into things. And something I've been told that I didn't know about was that when <laughs> this guy is so difficult to control. When you um, use your drills, you actually get more resources out of the uh, the creature, or not the creatures, the uh, the trees. Man, I am getting massive lag. What is the deal? Oh, this is ridiculous, guys. I do apologize. I think it's because I'm getting back closer to my bot, and this guy is just lag central. Uh, sometimes it does it, and sometimes it doesn't. I think there might be more to it. I think I'm blaming it on the game when part of it could just be my computer acting up because it has been doing that lately on a lot of my videos and I'm kind of ticked off about it because I hate it when that happens probably more than you guys hate it because it just for me producing content like that uh, is just substandard and it's not to the level that I want to produce uh, unfortunately when computer issues arise it very rarely ever gives me you know notice that oh today we're gonna act up and you're not gonna be able to produce the videos that you want uh, if that was the case, I would, uh, you know, say, okay, you can have, you know, two days off or something to rest, and then I need you working. But it doesn't do that. Let's see, can we get in here? Oh, my God, this is so quick. There we go. Get a little bit more in. No. Okay, I'll let the back finish first. Let's see if we can turn. Oh, my God, when you try to turn with this thing, it turns so much. It turns on a dime. It's amazing. But it is a little difficult to mess around with. And we probably should go out at one point and get our... Our, uh, our airplane, because I do want to mess around with that as well. But I think at the moment we're going to hold off. In fact, I'm going to put a weapon back here. Now keep in mind, these GSO weapons not only are stronger, but they do weigh a bit more as well. So keep that in mind that the damage-wise may be a little bit more because you may not be going nearly as fast. But that could be a good thing. If you already have a bot that's way too fast for you, then slowing them down by adding a little bit of weight, especially in the form of weapons or uh, battery packs or something along those lines, can really be a nice way to give you a little bit more, you know, uh, control. Because I've done that before and it definitely helps out. Okay, so we're back, guys. Sorry about that. I went ahead and restarted it, and it seems like it's running a little smoother uh, for the most part. So we're going to come out here. We're going to see what's out here. I think, again, this is our... Oh, okay, well, so much for the smooth part. <laughs> what is this? Who is he attacking? I don't even want to get close to him because look at that. Just a, a few hits from that would really just wreck our guy. If we had a shield generator on it, I would say maybe. Uh, or if I could come at him from an angle and take out his wills without really having to worry too much about things, maybe. But right, you can see he's actually causing queer, a fair bit of lag all by himself. I do love the design of these trees. I don't know what it is about them. It's, uh, man, they're just very, very cool looking. I almost wish, like, you could get something like that in real life. That's just, that's kind of nice. And there's a few little resources out here as well that at some point maybe I will add some of the base pieces out here so my guy can refine some of this. Whoa, I wasn't even going very fast, and we caught air on that one. That is how lightweight this guy is. These are the blocks I would suggest making an airplane out of. I think the ones that you get uh, right off the bat are like the GSO ones or something like that for the, the one that they give you. These weigh less, which means you could put more on it of substance and still not be weighed down, and therefore you can get it out of that a little easier. Uh, let's come over here and try this guy out. I probably should have brought the solar generator with me and then I could have repaired as I went on uh, can I grab that weapon nope it blew up and I got hit a little bit there and you know the weird part is I keep finding the single uh, venture blocks but I don't find the dual ones and the dual ones 
uh, it's not like I need them, need them, but it would be nice to actually have them as part of my collection of things that I can make. Because when I was making this guy, I had to buy the single ones because I did not have the doubles. And that's pretty weird. Usually you find those together. So maybe they change something and the bots uh, spawn things a little bit differently. I don't want to go after that guy. That guy's too tough. So let's head off in this direction. I know he dropped another light and I can put that on there. But for now, we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, let's head over here and see what we can find. Now this is probably too far away to find any of those question marks. Usually you find them pretty close. And I say that just as we come across a whole bunch of... Holy crap, what is this? Oh my god, is that a cab? It is, it's the cab. Oh, and it's the two that we're missing. Kill! Kill him! Oh, I can't believe we got the cab. That made the whole trip worth it right there. That is just amazing. Okay, fine. That's that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, now how do we how are we gonna expand this? You know what we could do is bring this up if it will go up. There we go. And that way we can have weapons up here at some point. We're gonna bring these out as well. We'll put one here. Bring these out. I'll put some wheels up here because eventually we will use these wheels. I just don't think we're gonna have the uh, the space for it right now. So let's put these on our bot. This will give us a little bit more weight as well, which is something we definitely, definitely want. Let's take this wheel off, put it up here. We'll put this down here. And there is another enemy over there, so I do want to get over here. Did I lose that or did he? I think he lost that, actually. So we're going to use that for sure. Uh, what else did he lose? Oh, he lost a light. Okay. So let me take a look. Yeah, that's still the other enemy that we don't have to worry about. Let me take a look at this cab. I think this is the Geocore Foreman GPR cab. A real off-world miner's cab. No wheels or anything added. That is cool. That guy is going to be tough to destroy, but he's going to be a target. So instead of like aiming at the guy down here in the center uh, where I've put the other cab, the GSO cab, I think this is the guy they're going to be going after. So we may lose this fairly quickly because I don't have a lot of protection to give that guy right now. I just don't have enough, enough blocks to cover him up. But I'm so glad we have him because now I can build him for my other guy, my other guy that's back there. Uh, and I can't believe we found them way over here. They must have expanded uh, the region and just kind of thrown stuff around. I wish I had a radar to see if there was anything else close by. I think I did see something a little further over here. No? Maybe? Oh, man, we're... Something, something has to be over here. I do like the little area, though. This is almost better than the one I started in. It's a little flatter, and it seems like it has a lot more resources and different kinds as well, not just, uh, you know, like the rocks, but it has a lot of these different trees. And I don't know if you get anything different out of the, the trees, you know, like if you get the, the uh, you know, fuel out of one and the wood out of another or more commonly out of one versus the other. I don't know if there's something to that. Is there something floating over there? No, it's still the same thing. Okay, let's keep heading over here. I just don't want to miss anything because I've done that before where I go through three or four of these uh, biodomes and I get really far out there and, you know, then I have to make my way back and I end up losing, like, most of my stuff. So I try not to do that too often now. There is a guy out there. Uh, should I take him on? I don't know. I don't think we have enough weapons. and He looks pretty big, pretty gnarly, and he's GSO, I think. Yeah, I think he has GSO blocks. I guess he's making the choice for us. And he has a few base pieces, so we might be able to... If we can take him out, let's see. If I can aim, I might be able to hit him from here with that one weapon. Come on, kill him. There we go. Take off some of his weapons. That's all I need. Just a few of his weapons taken off. Holy crap. Holy... No. Oh my god, that's a lot of weapons. As long as you don't get hit with that full blast like that, I think we might be okay. Oh no. Get him from behind, man. Oh, get away, get away. <laughs> oh, this is... This may not go well, but I'm going to charge. Oh, no, this is not going well at all. Come on. Take off his weapons. I don't even think we're hitting him. Oh, come on. You can get him. You can do it. There we go. Are we hitting his weapons at least? I think we are. I think we're doing pretty well. Come on. Get him. You know, at least they're attacking the side and not the front of my bot. And it's the front of my bot that's been taking the most damage. Oh no, I'm about to explode. Oh crap. 
but thankfully I had the other cab, so they did go after that one on the side like I said he was going to. Oh, man. Oh, I am so close to just popping here. I need those pieces now, most of all. Oh, crap. How are we going to do this? Tell me I can hit him from here. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy him. Destroy! Danger Rogue Robins. Oh, there's another one? Or did he break up? I think he broke up. Uh, look, can I get in there? I don't want to get too close, but I don't want him to lose everything. Ooh, check that out. We got one of these. What else do you have? Come on, let me get up there. Oh, there's two guys. Oh my god, there's two of them. Okay, we're going to take this guy out. Let's see, is he going to blow up yet? Dang it. Grab that. Come on, let me grab it. Oh man, we already have another one hitting us. Dang it, we're going to we're going to lose here. Bot flyer? Is that from Multiplier? Maybe I don't know. You just you never know who actually makes these bots unless they put their name on it. Oh, come on, kill him! Oh man, come on! How many times? I gotta destroy everything around this guy. It's gonna be the last piece that finally destroys. Yeah, look at that. The last thing. He didn't leave me one friggin' thing. Ugh. Thankfully, I have a few extra wills. We're gonna go ahead and throw those down here because we we actually need them now. Let's do that. Oh man, we're down to what two weapons? Ugh, this is... This did not work out the way I was hoping. Let's see, we got some more weapons over here. We'll definitely pick those up. Uh, we'll move that there for now. Toss this on the side. Let me put this weapon back in the front. We can do a little bit more damage. And we're going to come over here to finish this guy off. Hopefully, with any luck. And the reason I'm doing that mainly is because there's a lot of blocks over there we got from the other guy that I need to get as well. So... The sooner I can kill this guy off, the sooner I can get my bot back to uh, working order. At least that's my hope. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You are not ramming me, punk. Come on. I got to shoot you with a little pea shooter? This is just embarrassing. No. Stay away from me. Stay away. Oh, my God. I can put the other weapon on the front. Oh, I lost it? How did I lose both my weapons? I'm losing stuff because I'm running into things. Oh, no. I'm so weak. Just a couple of hits here and there is destroying my bot. Let's see. Is there any weapons over here I can pick up? There has to be at least one. Something. Oh, there's one over here. Let's get that guy. Put that up here on the top. Let's see. What else do we got? We got some drills I could pick up. Don't really want to use drills. That's, that's not something you want to use when you're already damaged. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Maybe something over here? Uh, well, we do got something over here, just nothing I really need. can put that there for now. I guess that's fine. We do have one weapon. It's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, it kind of is nothing, if you ask me, but... Let's see if we can kill this guy off. That's all we got to do is take him out. There it is, right there in the back, I think. Okay, he's hitting it now, kind of. A little bit. There we go. Nope, there's still one more in there somewhere. Let's see. Wow, he has quite a bit of stuff on him. I'm, I want most of that. Let's see. Can we hit him at least anywhere? No, I'm going to have to move that down. Still can't hit him. There we go. Uh, no, no. We don't want you to ram me. Oh, man. I can't believe we still can't hit him. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Oh, crap. There was a weapon down there, too. He's better at maneuvering than I am, is, is all it comes down to. Let's see. Can we grab this? Put this here on the side. We turn it. There we go. And now we can fire this direction. Where is he at? Can we get him? Come on. That should be perfect for you. Yes. It is perfect for you. Yes. Kill him. Kill him. Okay. Perfect. That is nice. And everything is still intact. Okay. So we do got to repair. We can go put that down. And we can put this here. Yes. That gives us a chance, guys. That is the only thing that saved our butts on that one. Let's pick this up as well. I will have to redesign my bot here in a second. So let's move this up. And we'll move this out. We'll do the same thing on this side. Give it a little bit more room. Uh, actually, we're going to have to go down, apparently. And we need to put some more blocks in the front. Because apparently our blocks that we had up here got exposed. And that is not acceptable at all. So let's see. We are going to have to take some of these 
some wheels off. We'll put that up here. We'll even grab this one and put this over here. And we are going to have to fix our weapons. Man, we do not have very many weapons at all. Before you make a change or a, uh, a charge out here into the wilderness like this, uh, it would be a good idea if you just had a few, you know, bucks to spare. So that when you were out here, you could harvest some stuff. and uh, Or at least use the, uh, the terminal anyways. And buy a few pieces that you may, you know, be desperately needing. Because uh, you lost them for whatever reason. Sometimes you have like a key piece of of uh, tech that really makes a huge difference when you don't have it. Ah, crap. I need to I need to move real quick and get the, the back of my bot healed up before it gets... Oh, man, we missed it. Okay, well, I think we got enough there for... Let's see how close this other guy is. Uh, I think he's far enough away that he's not going to be an issue. Uh, we have a tire out here. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's see, we do need to grab a few more tires. Wow, it's getting really dark without the the headlights, that's a good reason to use those headlights, apparently. So we are going to do this. We do want the stuff to get refined before we sell it. You make a lot more money that way. So let's put this in there. Can we move this block? We can. So let's move that block. It will get refined, and then it will get sold. And I guess it could be crafted into something. So we'll put that there. Let's see. I guess this is good the way it is. Hmm. I guess we can put another one over here. Let's see if that works. Uh, you know what? We're going to move this block. I don't really see a point to it being there. If we can get it to stand up over here, that will at least block the stuff from getting hit in the back. And that's, uh, you know, it's okay for me. I don't mind that too much. Uh, we're going to have to put this here, I guess. Right? Because it's not... You know what? No, we're going to move this over to the side and we'll put this here in the center and that way it can go onto the tractor pads then go into each one of the uh, the refineries and then go into this thing right here that sells it because I'm not really trying to create stuff right now I could move this stuff around in the back and and get a, an easier way of doing that but for now I think this is gonna be perfectly fine and I just have to find a place to put yeah let's put this in the back and we will head out. And at some point, I need to protect that. I need to, like, surround this entire area in the back. I guess I'll leave the weapon back here for now, maybe? No, I mean, it only shoots in one direction, and it doesn't aim up or anything like that. So, oh, there's another wheel back here. I've been losing those things all over the place. And then we will go check out the other area that might have some more stuff for us. Let's see. Anything good? No, there's a, a couple of drills I don't really want to put on. We can grab one of these. These might be uh, of use. Let's see what else. And you can see they're making money, so at some point I could always just stop and harvest to make a little bit of cash and buy some more weapons. And I may actually do that because I'm going to try to take it a little slower here uh, until my bot is fully repaired. And really all I was doing was looking for more pieces, you know, just my battery in general like I need that desperately once I get the battery uh, it's gonna be a huge game changer you defeated cyclone from no I didn't where was that maybe uh, it timed out but it seemed like I got cash for it so maybe somebody else killed him for me and there's somebody else out here little guy and he's spinning around in circles what do you think we should we take him on I think we're gonna go try to take him on he seems pretty small to me and I think with any luck uh, we might find something useful out here, something that we don't already have. Come on, kill him. You're not even hitting him, man. Oh, this might not have been a good idea. Maybe not a good idea. Oh, no! I'm down to one weapon. Oh, no. Come on, fire. Fire. <laughs> kill the guy. Oh, no, this is just a bad, bad idea. Until I get more weapons, this sucks. We're gonna, we're gonna have to fix this. Die already. Oh, no. I might even just call my losses and get the crap out of here. Like, there's nothing left to get off of that guy. Nothing left to gain other than the stuff I could lose. So let's pick up our block, and we'll pick up our weapon, and we'll hightail it out of here. Let's go. Oh, my... <laughs> this is crazy. No, I can't believe we're dying from little guys. Oh, this is, like, why I use those, those repair bots religiously. Like, it's just... It's otherwise... Oh no, there's another guy. 
Oh, uh, there's no chance we could take that guy on. No chance whatsoever. Let's see. We need to find a safe spot so I can heal up. I think this is probably it. I think the sun should be out enough that our solar generator should be uh, making some power. Some. No, it's still not sparking yet. Let's see. Anytime? Yeah, it's it's gonna pop up anytime. So we'll give it a second. Let's see. We need to put a weapon up here. And we need to cover our base. Again, that's that's what they're after. Anytime you have a base covered up, they go after those squares first. So if you can, try not to have your weapons in the way of that. If you want to put them here on the side, that might be a better method so that they don't get destroyed as quickly. But like I said, I think I'm going to actually save up and, and buy some weapons here in between this video and the next. So hopefully you guys uh, will like the design that I come up with. And again, like I said, uh, really, really just depends on the blocks you have available to you uh, on the design that you pick. If you have some really good blocks, and blocks uh, that I mean by really good are the shield uh, bubbles and the repair bubbles and anything that will allow you to create power. I remember there's a, a couple pieces on your base that used to uh, create power as well. And you could just go around and, and pick up, uh, you know, trees and stuff like that. It would convert it into energy and then you could re repair your base on the move but that's no longer the case uh, pretty much the only thing you can do is have batteries and you have to charge the batteries up somehow first uh, you can't just skip that step like you could before so oh we lost one of those yeah we did we lost one of the uh, the uh, what do you call it? these refineries or whatever and I guess that's not too big of a loss like I would prefer not to do that but I wasn't coming out here to find those pieces in the first place so I guess it's okay <laughs> And you know what I may do is just stop attacking people. Like, I may just stop attacking and we're just going to run off and look for some stuff real quick. Because we do got a few more minutes before I want to end the episode. So let's come out here. Because you can really find some cool stuff just from those little things alone. And I guess I was kind of hoping to, to find that battery off of somebody. Because I think that's probably where I'll end up finding it. But I'm pulling really hard to the, the right there. That's why I keep bumping into stuff. And I lost another wheel because of it. Let's come out here. You know what it was? If I got invaded, maybe my main bot is back there in little tiny pieces, but it ended up beating him uh, because I didn't kill it. Holy crap, that's a big jump. Come on, move. Oh, man, my thing is getting hurt so much. I don't remember them getting damaged left. Holy crap, look at that guy. What does he have on him? Anything good? Uh, he's tons and tons of weapons. Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. If I can move. Oh, what? You seriously? You're going to get stuck? You've never gotten stuck anywhere, and you're going to get stuck because of that guy's on the map? You little scaredy cat. Little punk. Come on, move your butt. Move. Yeah, try to keep up with me, Geocore. You can't, unless I run into things like that. Oh, no. We're going down this big crevasse. Can we get out? If we don't stop, maybe. And this is the bot that you definitely want to have boosters on when you go over these these little ramps and stuff you really want to see them catch some some air you definitely want to put some of those uh, those boosters on these guys because that would be amazing I can't wait until I get a few of those let's see can we get out of here I actually did get one I believe for the uh, the geo core but it it's not or not the geo core for the uh, oh crap seriously for the uh, GSO ones but it's not really that great like it could be better and so I just don't really use it that much let's see can we get out of here Okay, that should be good. Move. Oh, man, my wheels are so easily destroyed. It looks like there's something out there. No, it's just one of those rocks. Dang it. Oh, man, no, we're, we're not fighting you. Uh, although he's pretty quick, he may be able to keep up with me no matter where I go. I'm really pulling hard to the right. It's I'm almost constantly pushing down on the left just to keep him straight. And I, maybe it's just the weight, or maybe it's the terrain of the ground. That can sometimes play a factor. Oh, crap. We're heading right for that guy. He's running right for us. Get him. Oh, my God. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, we're heading back into the nice, soft grassland that we don't really have to worry about mom spawning, except for those guys who are everywhere. Wow. Usually don't see a lot of those guys unless you go up into the mountain terrains, which is exactly where I was, but it's still pretty rare to see that many on the map at any one given time. Oh, stop going to the right, man. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I think this is perfect because we're getting massive lag as we get closer 
and closer to our bot. And so you can kind of see that it is tied in with that. And I understand there's a limitation on how many blocks can be on the screen at any given time. And when you do have a big bot like that, if you go around and harvest a lot of resources, every one of the resources add on as well. And it's a combination of your computer as well. So not entirely their fault, but it is basically a massive lag sync when any time you're close to this thing. So at some point, I hope they they lower the resources or fix that issue so that you can have more blocks on the screen without it kind of lagging out. But like I said before on the next episode, I am going to mine up a little bit. I'll mine up with my main bot over there. That way I can get a whole bunch of money really quickly. That thing just rolls over this entire continent and I get like 10,000 uh, you know, BBs in like 10 seconds. So it's really not that difficult. And then I'm going to fix this guy up, maybe uh, get him some new stuff and uh, just kind of experiment with the venture blocks a little bit more. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.